got my, my loop deck here that's I use that primarily for for Lightroom. Got my, my Wacom tablet that I use for editing on, on, on Photoshop. But I saw something on Hair of the Dog on Facebook. Someone using a video editor that they configured uh, to use with Photoshop. And it's a different one to this, but I, I have this one that I use for my video editing, Shuttle Pro version 2. So I've just uh, set it up now to use with Photoshop. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. Basically, it's more just for the, the brush size to increase and decrease brush side very, very quickly. And also to uh, increase, uh, to zoom in and zoom out, just using these two rings. But I thought, while I'm setting that up, I might as well uh, load a few of the other things in there. It's very, very handy. Just, so I've got my, my pen in my right hand for editing. I've got the wheel on the Wacom. Uh, but it's just an, an extra little thing there that I can have on. So let's go up into contour shuttle and these are my settings that I've done so we're going to uh, contour sh shuttle jog the dial we use the dial uh, to use as jog there are two options with that you can use it as jog or you can use a virtual shuttle we want to use as jog and then so turn jog left we're going here we use type keystroke then at the bottom here just use type keystroke and then it's just the uh, the left hand bracket and then for the uh, turn jog right again type keystroke there's many options of what you can do here type keystroke and then we use the right hand bracket so that's just going to uh, increase and decrease the brush size for us next up we're going to the ring which is the uh, the outer thing of the shuttle pro so from minus seven to minus one, I have uh, some, yeah, I've got keystroke, type keystroke. I'm not sure why it says repeat key and the rest of them say type key, but I don't think it makes any difference there. So type keystroke, command, and then minus. That's gonna, uh, I've got it set to decrease brush size there. I'm going to put that to zoom out. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to change all these to zoom out just so that you can see. It doesn't really matter. It does a zoom out. I'll just put one here to, to zoom in just to, so that you're not getting confused by the uh, increased brush size things that it says just down there. So, shuttle zone seven, I am using type key, type keystroke, command. You've got four options here, you just press one of them, you can toggle it, kind of toggle it on and off. So toggle it on, it goes uh, a little gray, command and then equals, equals or the plus, that will increase the brush size. Just a little note on shuttle zone zero, Shuttle zone zero there, I've got it as nothing because it was, um, as, as it would revert back, so you turn the wheel and as it reverted back to zero, it would do one of two things. It would either increase it or decrease it. So you put that to, to nothing and then the transitions, again, I've set all of those to, if I click on one of those, you can see there it says do nothing. Uh, and the reason for that is if you turn that wheel uh, to the right to increase it obviously it springs back so when it turns back left again it will decrease it again so you want to uh, disable uh, or do nothing with transition left transition right just concentrate on the shuttle uh, shuttle if you're going minus anything to the left you're going to zoom out by pressing command and minus and turning right anything by pressing command and plus is going to zoom in so I'll show you with this picture here to the right and turning left on that wheel zooms me out and then you can see just on my nose there the little cursor for the brush if I turn right you can see that increasing that's using the three dots in the middle and then turning it the other way decreases that brush size so that just it's just a very very easy handy way rather than me having to scroll on the wheel of the Wacom it just lets me get there very very quickly now I am going to set up some of these buttons at the top I think while we're here might as well just quickly set some of those buttons up so 
uh, button one they've got these are if you go into the settings and click on Photoshop CC 2018 which is the version that I'm running they have some presets I'm just changing the presets and what I'll probably do is uh, so I'm just gonna go down down my list here I think is what I'll do just down this list I've got all the tools there I don't really use this for any the the shuttle post so I'm just gonna set it so the top one move tool I'm just gonna set that on button one command keystroke get rid of that command just put V in there move down to the next one what's next we have is the uh, next one is the marquee tool that is M so we'll just set M on there get rid of command button three on the list there that is the uh, the lasso tool which is L so let's just change, get rid of shift and command, just change that to L. Very, very quick, very, very easy. History brush. You know, I've never even known there was a history brush. <laughs> never used it. I just read what it was then. It's amazing. This this um this program's so huge, Photoshop, that I mean there's a twenty or thirty different ways to do each thing that you do anyway and everyone has a different method. But even something so obvious that's that's been here for so long, the history brush, I've never ever used it. Uh eraser tool E next down the list on button eleven. I'm probably never gonna use these keys, just literally setting it up to show you uh how easy it is to do. Those should all be done now. So as I, I toggle through uh, pressing these buttons, you can see that they're all moving to, to what we've got set. And that's it. Very, very quick. Very, very easy to do. The main thing that I wanted to show you was the, um, the brush and the zoom. Those are set on there. Those are always going to be ready to go. Very handy for me now. Uh, that's it. The Contour Shuttle Pro 2. It's at $100. Very, very simple to use. Uh, very good for video editing. I've just five minutes and I've added it into my uh, my Photoshop screen uh, workflow. Very good, happy.